Hey everybody, today we are going to work on my wife's suet feeder. We bought this at one of the big box stores and it's a homegrown Cedar Products little uh, suet feeder. You put two suets in it, you lift the top up to put another suet in it. So there's a problem with it though. The problem is, is once the suet block gets eaten down to about halfway, the squirrels can reach in and pull it out and they run off with it. And we don't mind feeding the squirrels. We like the squirrels, but it's not fair to the birds that the squirrel gets to steal the suet feeder. And then sometimes they actually push this lid up to get to it. So I'm going to rebuild this a little bit. And what we have here is you can get these at the hardware store, or any of the big box stores. These are suet feeders you're supposed to hang from a tree and the cage actually locks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this cage out and i'm going to install this cage and if you notice this cage is a lot taller but i don't think it's really going to matter because it's still just going to sit on top of the cage like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take the chain off i don't need the chain so first thing we're going to do we're going to work our, walk our way over to the workbench here and this is just held in by staples so we should be able just to pull Pull the staples out that simple and then we need to we're gonna have to get a pair of cutters and cut that off let's see where is the opening here's the opening so here's the opening so we're just gonna go ahead and line that up in here like this and get my staple gun and we'll staple into place let me go get a pair of cutters and we'll cut that off and I'll get a staple gun and we'll staple this new suet feeder in the little birdhouse Alrighty, we already cut the chain off. We bent it a little bit, but that's not gonna matter. I got my staple gun out and I'm gonna try to get in here with the staple gun and just do it the way it was. I'm gonna line it up evenly, which that looks pretty even. I'm just gonna sneak in here with the staple gun. And put a couple staples there. Flip it around. That one went really good. All right, two of those staples don't look the best in the world, but that one in the center really went good. And that looks like it's pretty tight. And now, I still need to do the other side. This board is still up high enough to catch the roof to keep the suet from um, getting wet. All right, everybody. So there's a very quick hack that you can do to fix your uh, suet feeder. If you're getting the squirrels stealing it out of there, just go buy yourself a couple new ones and just staple them in there. And you'll have a suet feeder that is more squirrel proof from stealing. All right, we had a little failure with the uh, bird seed, I mean suet thing, because the problem is, is these, those staples are too shallow and they don't bite into the wood far enough. So basically I've wasted all those staples right there. So plan B, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the suet feeder and we're going to put it in and I have some very big fender washers and I'm gonna put a fender washer here and a fender washer on the other side. Maybe we'll do two, maybe we'll actually do two. We'll do one there and we'll do one here and I'll drill a hole. We'll drill two holes and then put the other suit pack on the other side with two more fender washers and two nuts. That should do it. Let me get this done and I'll come back and show you that the other was a failure and we'll fix it up. Okay, as you saw, the uh, staples didn't work, but they weren't long enough. So I had some bolts and fender washers, and what I did is I just bolted them straight on through. Um, this bolt must be a little bit shorter than that bolt, but now the squirrels can't steal the, uh, the suet out of here. And the lid is only held on by that little piece, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. And my wife still should be able to get in here and 
get that open to put the new suet in and then flip it around and do the same thing flip it put the new suit in i'm going to find a longer bolt for this one because i use the nylon lock bolt so the nuts won't come loose i don't want the nuts coming loose from the wood expanding contracting so i'm gonna have to find a longer bolt but anyway so the first attempt with the staples was a fail so you need to, I just nut and bolted. It was so much easier. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the bonus footage. And, you know, please subscribe down there. We'll talk to you all later.